All right, here we go for the umpteenth time. <laughs> We're having a hell of a time getting this video straight. Anyway. Practice makes perfect. I guess so. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> so, uh, I'm Stan. I'm Terry. We're Hill on Two Wheels, and uh, we the day has come. It's time to pack the bike up. Where so, are we going? Well, if you missed our previous video about our big trip announcement, we're riding from uh, Northern California to North Carolina. All right, we're going to see our kids. Yeah, so I haven't seen them in three and a half three and years. Three and a half years. Our oldest son's an active duty Marine. He's currently stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. So we're heading out that way and uh, taking a road trip. Can't wait to visit those guys, but uh, since we're going taking a road trip, we decided to ride. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, actually, I'm riding out and I'm going to make a kind of a quick trip, really push it on the way out there, and uh, then uh, Terry's going to fly out a week later. And I'm planned ahead. Yeah, she's smart. <laughs> and then we're going to take our time coming back. We're going to do some more sightseeing on our way home. Yeah, there's a lot to see between here and uh, North Carolina. Yeah, we got the whole country to see. I know, I can't <laughs> wait. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, so we're so really we looking taking? forward to it. So I, we just this said, is what you're taking. Yeah, yeah. So we were saying that uh, we do a little packing video. And I might end up mailing some stuff home, actually. But uh, I'm going to be out for about two weeks. But this is my clothing bag. Uh, and I, what I use is a helmet bag, uh, just because they're so thin and light, and they fit well in the saddle bag, and uh, they take up no extra space. And then what's in there? There's like a week's worth of clothes, right? Yeah, I've got like maybe five days worth of clothes in there at that. Because so the plan is to... I'll be doing laundry once we're there, obviously. I'm, I'm not going to take enough with me for two full weeks. That would be ridiculous. But some th items that I've forgotten in the past when I've done road trips that I thought I might make point a point out in case you're doing it, heading out. Make sure you bring some cold weather gear, even though it might be summertime. Sometimes you get surprised at night in certain areas, and it can get really cold. So but I always forget my beanie, so bring your Thunder Roads Thunder beanie. Roads swag. <laughs> <laughs> you can get them at our website, thunderroadsnorcal.com. A towel. If you get an opportunity to take a shower, you're going to want a towel. And I always forget to bring the daggum towel. Yeah, they have camping towels, but, you know, this yeah, is... Yeah, I get one of those camping towels that dries really fast, and uh, uh, they they pack up really small. But I have a small towel that works for me, and I just haven't gotten around to do a camping deal yet. And the bathroom kit. Bring out, Don't forget things like Advil, and maybe, I'm since it's the spring, I'm bringing allergy medicine because I'm going to be going through so many different... Uh, types of environments and that you got a little thing of bug repellent too because there could be some skeeters yeah, yeah that could be too so but uh yeah that's pretty much it for my personal items oh sorry let's bring out the here's our camping gear camping gear <laughs> yeah so we're gonna be doing as much camping as we can you know just to keep the cost down and we enjoy camping so i think yeah <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least we used to <laughs> yeah 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 but, so uh, yeah, so I'll probably be camping all, most of the time on the way out. If we run into bad weather, obviously we're going to get a hotel. We're not going to be yeah. we're not going to be stupid about it. Thank you. But um, so we got our tent, you know, uh, pads, and sleeping bags, just what normal is this? stuff. That's a, just a sleeping pad. Oh, okay, sleeping pad. But some items that I've forgotten in the past that I, I, I always wish I had: real tent stakes. It's worth it to buy. I mean, they're. Like not even two bucks a piece. I think they're no, like they're a less. A yeah, they're less than a buck. And and because the ones that come with the uh, tent, tent are bend flimsy up. and they bend up, so and then after like the third night, now you no longer can stake your tent to the ground. And uh, what's this? That's the night the wind blows. Driving tent stakes or uh, chopping kindling up with a claw. So oh. that works pretty good. Just a sturdy hammer. Oh. The map. you got to have a real map. A lot of people just don't even think about these anymore. That's old school. Old school way of doing it. But I tell you what, if you if you end up in a spot where you don't have any cell service, <laughs> you're you not mean? quite sure whether you should go left or right, this thing can save your tail. Absolutely. And Oh, here, here's my little two cents. This is a, a, called a tent skeeter repellent. And what it is basically is dryer sheets, fabric uh, uh, dry, dryer sheets, and the smell apparently drives away skeeters. So you put this in your tent, hang it in there, and it's supposed to keep uh, uh, mosquitoes out. And it seems to work. Yeah. And another thing that we found recently too is these wipes. So these things are uh, they're kind of like a handy wipe, but they're way bigger, and they have they come in a, like a scent, you know, so like it's a mint or. There's whatever unscented scent. and there's scented. Yeah, yeah, both unscented. This one's unscented. It's on but, the go. 
Yeah, so it's just an on-the-go wipe. It, it's kind of like I was saying, it's like a handy wipe, just a lot bigger. So if, if you use two of these, you can actually pretty much give yourself a complete yeah. wipe down. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's yeah. a, in a pinch. That's what you would go to. So yeah, I mean, if you if you're in a place where you can't up. take a shower but you still like to freshen up and touch, that's yeah. a really good option. And those have come in really handy a few yeah. times. Headlamps. Headlamps are great. Flashlights are always good, but with headlamps, Put your hands your are head. free. You can just keep working. If you get someplace you got to pitch your tent and it's dark, you're going to want a headlamp. So you can use both hands. You're not trying to hold a flashlight in your mouth or something stupid. Dude. Now, we don't really need to go into this. Sure we do. Why? Well, I think they might want to know. Well, they're just glow sticks. <laughs> So, anymore, we uh, bring glow sticks when we go camping, and we attach these glow sticks to the tent. Because somebody has a tendency to get lost in the middle of the night after going to the bathroom or something, and I can't find my tent. Yeah, oh. we, had, we had an incident where Terry left to go to the bathroom and never came back, and I spent a couple hours looking for her. I found her at 3 in the morning standing next to a cliff, yeah. freezing. It was pretty scary. Out, out in the woods. Scared. She missed the tent and just kept going into the woods. So now we bring glow sticks so that I can find the tent. But it could come in handy. I mean, let's say your neighbor... Well, what if the lights go out on the bike? You have something hanging or something. I mean, flares would be better, but... <laughs> <laughs> that it gets it done. Anyway, that's this, our stuff for the road. There is so, sand. Now, it's easy to think about yourself while you're out there on the road. But your bike's going to need some stuff too, so you can't forget about your bike. So here's some of the things that we bring along. Uh, first and foremost, I bring along a few uh, microfiber towels and some stuff to clean the bugs off my windshield and the face visor on my helmet. You can't just use anything. You can't just use cleaner that you'd use on your bike because I'll scratch up your windshield and your uh, face shield on your helmet. So that works good. Cycle shade seat cover. This thing is coming in, in handy. Oh yeah! If you're in a situation where you got a lot of dew in the morning, you know, the foggy type environment or whatever, it's Put so down. nice to get up in the morning. You're already kind of chilled or whatever, and now you got a sun. Wet bike. Wet bike. It's like that's not that's not fun. So this solves that problem. Pretty cool. Bring we're bringing a few bungee cords and uh, cargo net. And we also have a tire repair kit, um, just in case you have something happen way out there. This might get you to town where you can uh, get a new tire on your bike. And then what's this? This is so, a this is a money bag. Money bag that you made into a tool bag. Yeah, but if you guys want to start sending us some money, <laughs> then I'll try to fill it up with money too. I mean, I'm really good it's idea. O it's okay either way. I like that idea. That's the best <laughs> idea yet. <laughs> Okay, so what's so, in it? Because we're camping, so, so that's empty. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just a few items that you you got to remember is uh, uh, your tire gauge. Always keep your tire gauge with you. Um, you want to know Make if your sure tires you are inflated properly while you're riding. It saves your wear and tear and also could save your tail, too, if uh, you're riding what with underinflated tires. Kickstand stand. You might be setting up on some soft ground. You don't want your bike tipping over and then just some specific tools for whatever kind of bike you ride that's pretty much it that's it and we are getting ready to hit the road we're gonna hit the road and please stay tuned so that uh you can keep you know come along with our travels and stuff and see how we do yeah we're trying to we're gonna try really hard to do like kind of like a daily update uh, on youtube here but this is kind of new so we're yeah we this we never attempted a a feet on like the road recording something like this before we've done like a week-long trip but never yeah. you know this is a new experience so if you have any hints for us or suggestions please please put them ears. in the comments below we would appreciate them yep and thanks for watching we'll uh stay tuned for the soon. next series hit that subscribe button